Hey everyone, welcome to Buick Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion. We're out in Prince Rupert. Today, going after how What we use out here, a little sprayer bar, a little big weight on the one end. On this end, we have a little halibut rig. And then for the bait, we have these herring that we soak up in some salt, a little bit of a brine. I take this J-hook, go in through its mouth, up through its head. Take this big treble. I put it in through its tail to come straight out. Turn it, and then that way, hopefully, when it's on the water or it's in the bottom there, it just sits like that. Then we got this butt juice. I go underneath the gill plate. Through his butt. We'll take your overboard. Now we just send her down to the bottom. Once it hits bottom, we'll tighten up the line, bounce it a few times, and Sit and wait, let the magic happen. All right, now that we've hit bottom, give her a few bottom bounces. There we go, got him. There you go, Shelby. Go ahead, honey. Oh, probably, yep. Yeah. Don't talk dirty like that. <laughs> it's a halibut. <laughs> no, it's, it's probably one of those little rotten chips. That trim chip, remember? Yeah. Sometimes it happens, right? Sometimes you gotta leak a little half. <laughs> it's almost like we had to get two before we got a halibut. <laughs> There, now we got the arrow tooth flounder out of the way, we can go after halibut.
Go get that one. Get that one. <laughs> oh, is it here? Yeah. Oh. Here you go. Here, hold that rod. Pliers if you want them. Just about got them. Bye, big feller. Oh, catch you next time. <laughs> Another fun day halibut fishing. Got our limit, released one. Time to get out of here. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So we had a, another successful day halibut fishing. And right now I'm going to show you how you take this half, big old slab of meat, turn into that. And you basically just need a simple fillet knife. I like to use my little buck pocket knife just to make the initial cuts. And then a serrated knife just for when you're cutting this uh, fin out. Because you need to keep that on now for uh, legal requirements out here. So the first thing I do is I take my good pocket knife and you have this little lateral line here just make a straight cut and that goes all the way down to the spine comes to there here I just follow the head down now I take my little serrated knife and right in here real hard piece I take this serrated knife cut that out and I come inside here cut all the way around and there we go see so now that's all open and loose then that way uh, when you're transporting this home uh, the oceans and fisheries if they pull you over they can get a real good estimate on how long your uh, halibut is. So now that we have that done, we're gonna move on to our fillet knife. What I do is I take my fingers and I just kinda put them in there and I kinda spread them just a little bit so that we have room to cut. And as you're doing this, you want the tip of your knife to hit the ribs on the inside so every time you come down you can hear it going and then before I get too far ahead take the tip of your knife put it in here and there's a perfect little slab of skin you can kind of see it right here here's the fin here's the meat and right here is a little dip and you cut in there it makes your life a little bit easier when you're making your final cuts I do that on both sides can't really see it on this side but you're not missing anything same cut I just made on that side then you come back here just keep going uh, when you get to the whoop, when you get to the top here you have to you're angling your knife like this right here you kind of have to turn your knife a little bit because in here it's just a bunch of little ribs and stuff and there we go so see that little bit right here you have to angle it up 
and then every once in a while you might nick a couple of them bones and they'll be right here which is whatever you'll find them and come back in here and pretty well just finish them off every once in a while too you might go a little deep on your cut there and get them ribs but that's all right And then one thing that I do here is some people say that you have to cut the tail here to bleed them out. If you want to bleed them out, cut their gills. And I don't uh, cut the tail because now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this guy around. Start on this side. And now that we don't have a big slab of meat here, it usually goes by a little bit quicker. And then on this side here too, this is where all your guts are. So here, you can kind of try to work that meat out of there. Or you can just say the heck with it. Just cut down until you get to here. And then can continue on. Just like that, we're pretty well almost done. And then all you gotta do, grab this. There you have her. Now we have here is two fillets that are still attached at the base of the tail. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side, and then I'll show you how I split the tail and how we wash it off and bag it, and then you'll be good to go. All right, so now we've filleted both sides here. Nice clean uh, halibut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the base of the tail here, snap it left and right so it breaks the bone. Take your knife, cut one side, cut out through the other side. Now what you're left with is four halibut fillets, all connected at the base of the tail. And we'll just give her a quick wash. We'll throw it into one of our fish bags. And then that way when you go home, when you lay this nice and flat in a cooler or in a deep freeze, and you freeze it. If you do get pulled over, the oceans and fisheries or conservation officers, whatever you want to call them, they'll measure from here to here. And then they roughly know what size it is. So then that way uh, you won't be uh, over the size limit and you'll be good to go. There you go guys, that's how I play my halibut. Well you guys, I hope you really liked that video. If you did, make sure you hit the little like button down in the corner. Uh, maybe leave us a comment or two, subscribe to the channel. And uh, from everyone here at Buick Outdoors and aboard the Nikki Adele, we want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.